Hello everyone, Ember here and welcome back to a new video. In this one I'd like to take a look at a new Vicar Vault budget deck from the set Temporal Forces. So Vicar Vault is one of those decks which you know already is going to be quite bad, you know, <laughs> it's, it's, uh, it's not great. But it is a lot of fun and I've had an absolute blast playing this. One of my favourite games was a game against Miel Strado that I recorded, which I'll show after this, this deck profile. And it was just an example of when things do align and when things do work out. Vicar Vault can be quite a menace, actually, but it does take quite a bit of luck. It does rely sometimes on your opponent not drawing perfectly. And, you know, against some, like, super competitive decks like Charizard, that's almost never going to happen. So just, you know, don't even think that you can beat Charizard, basically, with Vicar Vault. And I know Charizard is everywhere on the ladder. I get that, but... You know, I just wanted to horse around with Vicar Vault because there hasn't really been a good one in a while. Like, there was the Vicar Vault V, I think it was. The one that did item lock from, like, Darkness of Blaze or something. And ever since then, there hasn't really been much in the way of, like, a good Vicar Vault card. So I'm kind of hoping that there will be a good Vicar Vault EX, potentially, in the future. Or, you know, back when, well, as soon as we get, like, the next era of cards, I guess, we'll get a Vicar Vault, whatever the next mechanic is, after EX. Either way. But still, what does this Vicar Vault actually do? Well, 160 HP, so actually relatively tanky for most Stage 2 Pokemon. You know, it's not very tanky by today's standards, but it's still pretty good for Stage 2. Two attacks. The first one, Match Ball, only doing 50 damage is pathetic and useless. We don't care about that attack. The second attack, though, for two Lightning Energy is the very, very fun named Circuit Cannon, which does 120 and then 80 more damage for each of your benched Charger Bug. So if you have one Charger Bug on your bench, you do 200, which is, you know, that's pretty good. You know, you, if you were to get Defiance Band or Choice Belt involved, you could actually KO some relevant Pokemon. So that's pretty cool. Now, if you get two Charger Bug onto the bench, then all of a sudden you're doing, wait, is that 280? Question mark? Yes, I think so. Wait, why, why do I not remember this? Yeah, it's 280 if you have two Charger Bug in play. But then if you have three Charger Bug in play, all four, so essentially three Charger Bug and then one in the active you, that you would use to evolve unless you go up with Rare Candy. Then that means you can get a one at KO on any Pokemon in the game, which is kind of like the main meme appeal of Vicar Vault. And you do play four Charger Bug as a result. So already the deck is off to a clunky star because you have to play four of the middle evolution and then basically four of the, the final evolution. Now, what is cool about this deck is that, of course, you don't necessarily need to evolve all your Charger Bugs and Grubbins up to Vicar Vault immediately. You can wait, so what you'll have to do is just attack with Vicar Vault, have your Charger Bugs waiting on the bench, and as soon as one Vicar Vault gets KO'd, then you evolve the next Charger Bug into a Vicar Vault, and then you evolve the next Grubbin. And truth be told, you shouldn't need to want to KO every two prizer in the game every single turn to win. You should hopefully have enough time to get a 2 a KO on something at some point in the game. Sometimes you don't, because 2 Lightning Energy is expensive in this day and age. I still can't believe that 2 Minor Attachments is too slow for standard, but it just happens to be the way it is. And we do have EXP Share and Electricity gener Generator and Neo Up Energy to help with that, but yeah, it's still quite difficult. But because we have to play 12 of our main Pokemon, 8 of the support one, 4 of the attacker, it does already limit how, many, how much like other stuff we can actually play in the deck. We still have to play Manaphy to deal with Rain and Greninja, although truth be told, since Charger Bug has 100 HP, it doesn't really matter too much about Rain and Greninja, but it's still nice to have. One Rain and Greninja ourselves, however, just to help with draw power, and we are playing 11 energy, so it stands to reason that it might be good. A 1-1 one, one line of B-Barrel, which I'm honestly still not that sure about, because, you know, most of the time your opponent will boss KO B-Barrel. However... If they do that, then that's sometimes better than them carrying a Vicar Vault or a Charger Bug even, so I'm honestly not too fussed. Like, you could play Curly or something instead, but really, it doesn't really matter which one you play. Like, I'm personally not playing any Switches in this deck as well, so that's another thing. So if you're, like, frightened of players bossing your B-Barrel to have it sit in the active and stall for a while, then, yeah, fair enough. Like, play Curly instead or just add a few Switches, but deck space is tight. So I will go over Energy first, actually, for a change. So we've got 10 basic lightning energy and one neo up energy, which might seem a wee bit excessive. And to be fair, I've often thought about removing electricity generator from this deck and just playing, you know, less basic lightning energy, then maybe swapping neo up energy for a maximum belt. But whenever I've tried that out, it kind of just feels like you don't have enough energy and enough ways of accelerating energy in order to like actually try and stay in the game. 
and you know win games because his deck can win games it just takes a bit of luck and you do need to be very persistent you know i'm not saying that you should go out your way to build this by the way if you don't have the credits for it or anything like if you don't own any of this stuff then it's not worth your time but it's something fun to try out if you know if you got all the stuff for it and you're a bit border standard like i was but yeah so new upper energy definitely a very good card helping us pay for that annoying attack cost it will get enhanced hammered away in the next set, but you know, that's Twilight Masquerade's Vicar Vault problem. But yeah, New Rep Energy, fantastic card, even though I've not really used it that much in games, to be honest. But yeah, still pretty cool. And we also play for Arvin, by the way. So you could definitely make the argument for um, the Maximum Belt being better. But yeah, for Arvin, definitely necessary in finding our TM Evolution, which basically just means that we don't have to rely exclusively on Red Candy on those first few turns. We can just TM Evolution our Charger Bugs or maybe even slap this on like Radiant Greninja. And then when, when that gets KO'd, we can combine that with stuff like EXP Share to conserve the energy while also evolving our Pokemon. Speaking of evolving, we have Aruza, which is a card that doesn't see much play for good reason. It's not particularly great, but in this deck, there is a lot of instances where it is pretty good. Allows us to find three evolution Pokemon, which just so happens to be Charger Bugs mainly. We'll, you will sometimes find like the occasional Vicar Vault or Bivaral, but mostly it's for Charger Bugs. One copy of Boss's Orders, which could be removed for like a Counter Catcher to be fair, or like a Pokemon Catcher, but truth be told, I just like my boss. I like to be able to boss, so yeah. Also playing just a lot of stuff in this deck, like a lot of just general stuff. I had a Great Ball in this deck, oh I still do, which I thought I removed for a Switch, but yeah. Did not remove the Great Ball, but still playing three Generators, two Super Rod. I say in the game that I am I believe I'm only playing one Rod, and that's because I prized one of them, so yeah, that's why. Two XP share is absolutely necessary, though, in conserving energy. So even if you don't play Generator, because the annoying thing about Generator is you can't use it to attach energy to Grubbin in the other turns. Like, you literally have to wait until you have Charger Bugs and Vicar Vaults in play to use Generator. However, it's still a fantastic card most of the time, so... Still feels worth it, you know? Maybe you could remove Generator in favor of, like, 3rd XP share and then some other stuff. I'm not sure what other stuff you would play in this list, but maybe some better draw supporters. I don't know. Draw support doesn't feel terrible in this deck, though, because as long as you get the Pokemon into play, then after that, the deck kind of just pilots itself, really, and you shouldn't have too much of a trouble. But, yeah, two, I know, for that reason. One Heavy Ball in case a Grubbin gets prized for whatever reason, annoying little guys that they are. And then one copy of Great Ball just to help you find Charger Bugs and Vicar Vaults. And of course, two TM Evolution, which is the most important card in the deck, really. Like, if this card didn't exist, then this deck couldn't exist. Like, it would just be so bad and playable, basically. But yeah, that's Vicar Vault. Uh, final thoughts on this deck. It is not very good. Like, don't waste credits again. Like, don't spend money on, on this deck if you don't already have all the stuff for it. But, you know, if you're bored of Standard and you're like me, who's become very bored of this format, basically. You know, I'm just patiently waiting for Twilight Masquerade at this point. You know, I would just say, yeah, give it a whirl if you have all the stuff for it. It's a lot of fun. It will lose a lot of games. But the games that you win are super funny and satisfying. And it's a stage two budget deck at the end of the day. So it is more fun to win with it. So yeah, it's been our power. Let me know what you think down below. And as always, thank you for watching. Okay, so for turn one, we actually don't have the worst hand in the world. We do have Buddy Buddy Poffin to find some Grubbins. Now, sadly, because they're being very faithful to the Pokemon in the main series, Grubbin is not a lightning type, so we will not be able to use Generator, which does suck quite a bit, actually. does mean that we're not going to be able to... Well, mm, yeah, I'll just get two Grubbin, actually. Yeah, we'll get two Grubbin. Very quickly look at the deck, but I'm, I don't think it's going to matter too much in this game. So, yeah, we've got a bunch of stuff in the deck, which is fine. I'm playing new upper energy. I might switch to maximum belt, but haven't made my mind up just yet. Um, I could Aruza. Yeah, I guess so. We will Aruza. Um, we'll get the B barrel out of the deck. Then I'll take a Charger Bug and a Vicar Vault. So if you could generator to the Grubbins, then that would just be perfect. But it's really annoying that you have to wait until you've got to charge your bug or Vicar Vault before being able to use them. So what I might do actually is because like I'm not really planning on working on too many decks before the next set releases, which is still like a week away or so. I'm probably just going to remove Generator and just like focus on trying to build a more streamlined version of a deck. But if I do that, then it probably means I have to like remove Neo Upper Energy. But 
My opponent is going to rare candy up to Meow Scarda so they can start using their annoying ability. They will play an Iono, so I lose like all my stuff pretty much. Which I'm not too fussed about because we couldn't really do much else with that hand. This hand isn't massively... Well, it's not massively much better actually, but at least they won't be able to attack this turn. They will be able to use their bouquet magic, but they won't be able to do much else beyond that. So what I shall do is I will bench Bidoof. I shall use Radiant Greninja. Uh, shall I? Yes, I shall. I'll use Radiant Greninja. I'm not sure what that card's doing over there. If you can see it on the video, it's very weird. I shall Arvin for Buddy Buddy Poffin? Question mark. Yeah, I think so. Actually, let's just see what's in the. Let's just see what's in the deck here. Buddy Poffin. Uh, two Grubbin, yeah. So we can get a tool card as well, so I will get the XP share. I think Arvin's really good in this deck, actually, but it's just because you really need EXP share to be able to do anything. So we'll attach there. We will use Buddy Poffin. Now, I'm actually hoping my opponent eventually attacks and KOs Raiding Greninja. That would be quite nice. Also, I can't remember. Did we use Concealed Cards? Yeah, we must have done, so... Attach an energy here. I will use TM Evolution, so we do have the EXP share on the benched one anyway. And this will essentially reset the Iono anyway, so that's why I wasn't like too bothered about it. Like, yeah, we lost some good stuff, but it's not like the end of the world. And we can evolve here. And I guess this one. Or do we just do B Barrel? I think we just do B Barrel, actually. Then we can like pursue a um Aruza next turn and go for that play. So Badoof goes to be Barrel, then we get a Charger Bug. So if my opponent decides to not attack Raining Greninja, then we can at least pay the retreat cost if we really wanted to. But wherever well, like wherever possible, I should say, we want to exploit EXP share. Like EXP share is a huge deal in this deck. Like without it, you can't really play the game. Because like you you, you just need two manual attachments per Vicar Vault, so super annoying on that frontier. Hopefully we get some more single prize energy support in the future, I guess, maybe for stage two Pokemon, but, you know, electricity generator isn't the worst, but, you know. Okay, what is my opponent doing? They've got a Jirachi down, completely irrelevant, whatever, I guess. Another Sprigatito. I'm surprised they didn't want a, a third one of these guys, or, like, maybe they don't have one in deck, or another Pidgey, actually. Or maybe something. Okay, my opponent is bricking quite badly, so average Mouse Scarter experience, am I right? I wonder if we have another TM Evolution. Well, we'll just have a look, shall we? Do we have another? We didn't. Okay. So that was maybe a misplay on my part, actually. Whoops. And we can... I guess we can try Generator out, can we? Yeah, we, yeah, we can do this. I could also Great Ball, actually. That's not, like, a terrible idea either. We would probably hit something off Great Ball. Okay, let's try this. Let's try Generator. And then, at the very least, we have Ultra Ball to work with, if nothing else. Okay, we do hit one. That's nice. Okay, cool. Um, I kind of want them to... Yeah, they, they kind of have to hit into Vicar Vault if we KO Manaphy this turn. So I think we have to try and go for that. So what I will do is, I will be aggressive, I will touch down here, although this is getting a bit risky because I don't necessarily torture ball away the energy. I'd rather keep the energy for Raiding Greninja, it's tricky. Um, Alright, let's just be Barrel, let's see how this goes. Right, we will be Barrel. Ah, yikes, okay, that's not what I wanted. Super odd, not relevant. Right, we'll discard Manaphy then, and the generator. Get rid of these guys, don't need them. We shall get Vicavolt. So we will be able to get a Kira Manaphy at the very least, so that's something. We can't really do much else, but I think we should be fine actually. Yeah, we should be fine. Um, we did prize an XP share by the looks of it. I will use concealed cards. We do have to be careful we don't uh, run out of energy, but 
At the very least, ooh, okay, that's pretty good. At least we have like Neo Up Energy somewhere in the deck. I will evolve the one that is damaged, question mark. Yeah, I will. And then we shall retreat the active and go after Vicar Vault. So this is where the deck seems to be okay at setting up most of the time, but it's just maintaining a chain of Vicar Vaults that's really difficult. And uh, yeah, match bolt, I guess. It doesn't matter. We're heading weakness. What I would like is a reprint of something like Wishful Baton, which I know they're not going to do because they've just reprinted Wishful Baton for like retreat cost for greater Pokemon, which sucks a bit because it means that these Pokemon that have like weird attack costs, you know, you can't keep the energy in play. But aside from that, we should be all right. So my opponent... As far as I'm aware, can't actually care with Vicar Vault in a single turn. They do actually have to spread it out, which is good at the very least. They will, however, get themselves a Pidgeot. So they've got their rare candy off. That was unfortunate. And Vicar... Well, Pidgeot is actually easy two prizes, potentially. Like, that is something we have to consider. Unfortunately, I don't think there's ever a world where we can want to kill a Mouse Like, how much damage can we do? We can do 160... 240. Mm, it's potential. Wait, is it possible? I don't think we could do that much damage, actually. Can we do can we do enough? Let me think about this for a second. Maybe we can actually if we get all the other grubbins out. Maybe. I'll have to see about that. We have prize well, we're down three energy, so we do have to be careful with a uh, super rod. Fortunately for us, my opponent isn't doing, like, masses, so we should be all right. So, yeah, they're setting up the boss be barrel play to keep us out of the game, which is quite smart. Uh, Poffin, that's useless. Okay, we kind of, like, have to be careful we don't run out of energy to attack, attach with. But, yeah, so what we'll do is we'll attach there. Arvin for what, though, is the question. Don't really want to be barrel for two cards. Feels so bad. Um, I, I'm playing two rods in this deck. Question mark? Am I playing two rods? I think I'm playing two rods. Let's hope we are. <laughs> Let's just hope we are. Uh, maybe not all the energy, but yeah, we'll send back two. If we draw into more with Bibaro, then we can at least Rain and Greninja for them. Um, Arvin, please, for like a better supporter. A yikes. Okay, that's not what I wanted. Um, concealed cards, potentially? Yeah, concealed cards. See what we get. Hmm. Okay. Yikes. Okay, then. Um, Arvin, Poffin. Now, this is where I have to check if we have enough stuff in the deck. Okay, so we have two Vicar Vaults. That's kind of important to remember. Because do I have another rod? I don't. Okay, so I've either prized it or I'm not playing two rods. Why can I not remember if I play two rods or not? I mean, we probably just lose anyway if we don't, you know, if we don't take six prizes quickly. Okay, let's not do that, actually. Can't misplay there. If I do this, though, I can't um, boss Pidgeot. But I think... I think he says. Ah, whatever. Let's just do this anyway. I don't care anymore. Let's do this. Right, we've committed. We've committed all the way. It's probably a terrible misplay on my part, and we've lost the option to boss Pidgeot for easy prizes, but... Grubbin, evolve. Yep, there we go. The full circuit cannon for 360. Didn't think I'd be able to pull this off more than one game in a row, but here we are. Oh, that's what I like to see. Even if this is the end of the deck and we, we lose every game after this, I'm quite happy that I was able to achieve that. It was just funny. Generator, TM Evolution, uh, that's not like super great. We, I mean, Generator is all right, actually, but... So my opponent is definitely playing double turbo in their deck, so that is a problem. So they'll be able to Blistery Wind for the KO, which we might be able to retaliate with our own one KO, which is quite funny, but we'll see. They're raging. They conceded. Wow. Okay. Vicavolt did something. 360, potentially. I mean, 
I was surprised that we got so lucky after my opponent, I don't know, that really good hand in the early game. But I guess even if you force your opponent to I know you after you've used the Aruza supporter, then it's still pretty good. But Meow Scrada doing Meow Scrada things, sadly, and being a bricky deck. But yeah, it's been Empire, and thank you for watching.